This is an ASTM level three, meaning that it needs to pass at 98% filtration. And when I got, I bought, this is the one I bought on Amazon. He said that, uh, he said he could tell it wasn't correct because there were no bags. And apparently this, his has an inner bag. This guy, what was his name? Very passionate. I like that guy. I see him, myself and him. Super passionate about guys. So, so yeah, he's making stuff in China, but this guy really cares about his product. So I, I'm already going to tell you that like from the walls of text I got from this guy, um, that I, I think it's going to pass. Okay, so let's open this up. So this is his, by the way, this is a 510K mask. So it's probably a good mask. Okay, look. See, this is sealed on the inside. That's what he was talking about. So what's going on here? I have theories. Because we didn't do this. It's a little beat up too, the box, but you can see it's from Amazon. See, look, that's Amazon's little tag there. And then it's got the quality certificate, which they put in English, but it is made in China. Again, nothing wrong with that. It's just a lot of times the stuff from China is like, especially if it's on Amazon, you don't know what you're gonna get. All right, I'm gonna take a couple of these out. Let's quit yapping, let's get this in. This is a redo of the Defender Safety Mask. Now, I'm gonna look up this gentleman's name. Now he reached out to us, which I really appreciate. Okay, so the one we tested had uh, head straps. This one has ear loops on it. Okay, let's get all the angles here. And we're off to the races. This is a PFE machine, uh, particulate filtration efficiency. We are doing uh, the NACL, uh, the, the same test that NIOSH uses to test N95s. These are not N95s, these are surgical masks. Uh, the gentleman who, who runs Defender Safety said that's not fair that you're doing a, uh, a, a, you know, a, a respirator test on uh, my, my mask. Well, the thing is that I'm not trying to do an official test here. I'm just trying to create a baseline for you fine folks at home to understand uh, if something's good. I like this guy, very, he's very upset with me. I would be upset with me too, if I was in his shoes. So I cannot blame the gentleman for that. Um, and, uh, you know, he, uh, he was very mad and he was like, um, you're not being fair with how you're doing the test. And he basically was like, I'm, I'm gonna sue you unless you take it down or give me another chance, which I love that. A little aggressive, but like anybody, we've, we've done retests here all the time. Hey, if, especially if we bought the product from Amazon, who knows what was going on in Amazon's warehouse with the little, their little fingers in the product. I don't know. Like you, when it sits on an Amazon shelf and gets shuffled around, like it, it's hard to tell. That's actually one of the reasons why I don't love, you see they have a resealable package. It's really, you don't really know if it's been opened or not, right? That's why I like something that's been sealed. You know it's been sealed. That's why actually we switched all of our products to be individually sealed, right? Because you know that it's, it hasn't been opened then. Um, but yeah, who, so who knows what happens in Amazon? And I want to give everyone a fair shot. And so here we are. We're here with Teddy's Mask, Defender Safety. What did it get last time? 84.88 with 115.4 Pascals. That's what it got last time. Uh, different world, different light, different mask. Here we go. What are we getting? I haven't even looked. Hey, we go. There you go, Teddy. See, look at that. 98. Eric, can you update the listing immediately to this? 98.89. And look at that kilopascal. That's half of the breathability of ours. 98%. It's better breathable than ours. More breathable than the one I just tested. And... Uh, or uh, it's, it's, it's uh, better filtration and uh, 42.3 Pascals. That's great. That's so much better. That's like twice as better as, the, as, as this mask that we tested before. And what happened? Who knows? I'm going to blame Amazon. You know, like there is, there was, especially back then, less now because people just aren't buying as many masks. There was a lot of fraud, which is why I always say buy from the manufacturer's website. Oh, the smell test. Good call, buddy. Oh, wow. This, this is the first time I'm saying this. This smells like a dentist's office. Like, literally, 
It smells exactly like a dentist office. That is so weird. It's like kind of sterile, but like also recently clean teeth. All right, let's do the uh, ear loop test. I can tell it's gonna break if I go like that. Ow, but those are good ear loops. All right, Teddy, thank you for uh, putting your patience and uh, trust in us uh, to, uh, to, to do the retest. Uh, I'm sorry, it took a couple weeks, Christmas and all that. Um, and uh, glad we were able to make that happen. Thank you for sending those to me. You're a trooper, and uh, by the way, I would recommend that mask. If I saw that mask, and I was gonna, in a, obviously like, I, I could reach into my warehouse here and get uh, millions of them. But if I was, you know, in a spot, I would 100% trust, uh, and this is the full Lloyd Armbrust endorsement of uh, Defender Safety. Great name too. I think I made fun of it, but I kind of like it. And it's, oh, great URL, defendersafety.com.